So I will say I've been blessed to work with some awesome leaders and I put myself around many others, you know, through things like this, I, I do a lot of different online training stuff where I'm around amazing people and just in person, I, I really go out of my way to try to put myself around people that are doing much bigger things than me that I look up to as leaders, as mentors. I want to talk about why it's so important in your team, your people is your biggest asset. And, but it's also your biggest liability because depending on the leadership that is controlling that, making sure things are working effectively and the other forms of leadership built into your company, it can also be your biggest liability. That's the biggest variable on every job is, is does how is my team, how's my team producing and how are things working out? And that's, that's how we either win or lose. And that's why they're such a big asset. They are what controls our company getting to where we want it to get to. But a lot of that is determined by the leadership. So for your per team to perform, at its highest level. It starts with the leader. It comes from the top down. Take accountability for that. It's easy to point and blame and say, oh, it's that person's fault. Blame it on something, somebody down at the bottom, you know, somebody that made some silly decision. But realistically, the sooner we can take accountability for it all falls on us. We either didn't give them the right tools, the right, the right training, the, the right notes, something, and the quicker we will get on with it and we'll do better leading. Leadership can be the difference between success and failure in your business. Leadership, even with your crew leaders, their leadership ability can be the difference between a profitable job and a non-profitable job. So for this talk, I have used John Maxwell's book, 21 Irrefutable Laws for In Inspiration. And if you've never read that book, you should read that book because it's an amazing book on leadership. John Maxwell's like the master of leadership. Let's get right into this and talk about how we're going to enhance that. That's number one. Number two, commitment. Commitment is the difference between you winning and losing and most of the things in your life. Can't stress how important as a leader this is. It is so easy as a leader to get caught up and think like there's these few things that aren't important that yet, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I've got a million things on my plate. I'm not going to do those few little things because they're not important. And if those little things that you skip over that are still something you should be doing or something someone else can see, and they believe that it's something you should be doing, you're now stepping into the land of not doing what you say you're going to do, not, not doing and fulfilling on your commitments. We are going to be judged by a saying that we're going to do something and always fulfilling on that. And we need to make it our top priority to, if we say we're going to do it, that we are going to do it. Because what happens is we put a lot of emphasis on a lot of different things. This, this project, this project, and this project, I'm 100% committed to. I'm going to show full commitment on that. And I expect 100% commitment out of everyone else. But then we have those little things that we deem not as important that others see. And the problem with that is, is, Although they may not be important in the big, the big picture, if people see you not doing things that you committed to that you were supposed to do, but you have justified them as unimportant, they will now start to think it's okay to not follow through on their commitments. As a leader, it all starts from the top. That's the biggest part of this. It starts from the top. Now you're opening it up into your company for this to spread through your company. Next topic we're going to be going over is accountability. This is something that kills me every day. Uh, I see and hear owners talking, going back to what we were talking about earlier about how that person screwed up. I can't believe these silly employees I have. They, they screw up everything. They, they can't ever get anything right. It's so easy to point blame at the thing we create. I had a friend of mine show up at my house one time and tell me uh, how he had just let go of one of his foremen. And he's like, man, it's crazy when you start looking at what, what's getting done in your business. And when you think everything's supposed to be right, you got a foreman, you got a person you can trust. It's just really crazy to see what they'll actually do. And I looked at him, I said, you know, the worst part about that is knowing it's all your fault. He didn't get mad, but you can see the frustration in his eyes. But in reality, the things we let go and the things we don't continue to hold people accountable to and, you know, or hold ourselves accountable or really it's, it's holding ourselves accountable to everything that happens in this company is some reflection or some mistake that I've made, whether it's the lowest level person or the highest level person right under me, the sooner we can get on and get over and realize that the faster we'll make groundbreaking changes in our company. On my notes here, I've got how it says, you know, they talk about how it's the employee's fault or even how not being able to find good people is someone else's fault. It's the market's fault. It's what the government's doing's fault. People blame on not getting the work done about how the weather's bad, you know, or, or how the market is garbage and we're not 
getting enough work or how the $25 guy is, is somehow a threat to us, which, you know, in our companies, if we're charging, we're making a profit, that guy's not a threat to us. He's, he's running a whole different ball game and there's a client meant for him and there's a client meant for us. So all the excuses sum up to not taking accountability. And the sooner you just get over it and say, it's not working. It's my fault. Like that that's happening and just get on with it. The better accountability is everything in your culture. And it's so funny. We're talking about leadership, but really it's enhancing your leadership is going to enhance your culture. And all of these points are what enhances your culture and makes you better as a leader to continue that on.